So we got the Polygon NTAT Plus TR8, which is plus tires, hardtail, medium. This one's a medium, 406 reach, which is very short. Feels very short. It's got a 45mm stem on it, which probably makes it feel short as well. Uh, maybe came out with a 60mm stem. He's upgraded those forks from a 120 revelation to a 140. So he just put the debonair spring in it and they feel excellent. I've got that rebound uh, probably four clicks faster than he had it. And they feel really nice. 170 cranks, which isn't too bad. Bearable, obviously. It's got a narrow wide chain ring on it, which I'll talk about a, bit, a little bit more later. It's cool. It's, you know, it's whatever. Uh, not a big fan, but a um, little bit more time on it and a little bit more in depth later. SLX brakes, XT, I think it's 11 speed, uh, not XT, sorry, SLX 11 speed with an XT rear derailleur, so that's cool. 125 dropper, I'd definitely go a 150 or a 170. Uh, it's got plenty of insertion room, so uh, no issues there. 73.5 degree seat angle, which is bearable. The head angle, 66.5 but is jacked up to probably 66 with that extra 20 mil of travel, so that's cool. Bars feel like they're maybe seven, I don't know, 780, 760, 780. They feel all right. Uh, rods well, plus tires, so 2.8 high roller two, XOTR on the back, 2.8 DHF, XOTR on the front. Uh, so not a lot of, you know, there's, the, the compounds aren't soft. It's the dual compound, but, Feels pretty grippy. It's it's hero dirt today out here at Cobblers. This track that I'm about to drop, Northern DH, is I've just done a lap on it. It's a little bit slick in spots, but pretty grippy in other spots. So pretty fun. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So straight off the bat, I'd certainly recommend standing a little wide on your pedals or running a wide pedal because the the seat stays are quite wide. So you clip your heels a little bit every now and then. So I've got to lean back a little bit so I can corner it well because it's such a short bike. If you get in the middle or over the front, it just goes straight. You can't put any body language into it. That's just a size issue, not the bike itself. But oh, it feels fun. A little bit slick coming in here. Oh, fairly grippy. I missed the turn there. I was a bit harsh on the landing. Oh yeah, this is cool. Fork feels good. Not diving. Not choppy. That's a little, maybe a little soft. Only just that. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of back end, like, really surf the bike. You gotta ride it with your feet. Like any hard tail, I guess. But, huh, this is cool. This tree root, gap up, little gap down, got the slick spot at the bottom. Oh, this is cool! I won't send that. Oh. oh, this thing's killer. So, first run, I was a little bit tedious, like a little bit tentative, and a little bit scared to maneuver it, but that time I was a little bit more aggressive, and it just it's really intuitive. So that was excellent fun. I'm gonna go and find another track to do a lap on and we'll chuck another one down. That's killer. This thing's wicked. Like I said at the start, run your feet out a little wide because as you come up, so let's see if I can show you on there. You can see that. Your pedal is real close. So your heel is like here and it clips on here. So if you stand out a little bit, I didn't have any trouble then. Um, so stand out a bit and definitely run a pedal washer or two. Maybe double up on your pedal washers. But yeah, that was pretty cool.